This is the paper drill set we sell. It's made by Mon Industries, made in England, and the kit comes with three bits to make six millimeter, four millimeter, and three millimeter holes. Now the parts for this kit go together this way. You have a handle and the body, and they just screw together. You have to pick the right end. It seems the threads are different on two ends, but you can tell which way is up by the writing on the body. And then you take the bit, that's your choice, what size of hole you want to make, and the bit cap. And this fits loosely. There's a hexagon opening in here that stops the bit from turning. And that's how you assemble it. So, unlike some other types of hole punches, this one does not do its own rotation, do its own turning. So to use it, you press down, and you twist back and forth while applying pressure. And now cut and this pad all the way to the cardboard. A little more pressure it would have cut through the cardboard as well. And as you cut more holes, the pieces that you cut out go up through the tube of the cutter and end up inside the body. Now that time it didn't quite cut through all the way. There, that's cut through all the way. And I haven't quite cut enough to make it eject the cut pieces. If you do a lot of cutting though, they end up collecting in here. So that's how you use this cutter. Now one thing to point out is that, unlike some other styles of cutter, this one's got straight sides on the outside. So when you cut a stack of paper like this, all the holes end up the same size and it doesn't stretch the paper on the top sheet. Um, some of the Japanese or so-called Japanese style cutters, the ones that rotate themselves, are tapered on the outside, which means that if you try and cut more than a small number of sheets, you end up stretching the hole on the upper sheets. Now the downside of this is because this is smooth on the outside, it's tapered on the inside, so the punched out pieces actually have to force their way through a smaller opening to eject through the inside. So that's a bit of a disadvantage if you're cutting really heavy paper. That makes the pieces harder to eject. But other than that, it's nice that you can do a whole stack of paper. I didn't really have this clamped properly, so the paper was squirming around as I was cutting it. I suppose if I cut up here near the uh, binding of the pad, it's not going to squirm as much. And I'll be able to get a nice straight hole. As you cut, you can sort of hear the individual sheets making this bit of a popping noise as they finish cutting through. So now I've gone right through. There we go. I've cut the cardboard. I have used this for cutting Davy board. It will cut holes, but I recommend that if you do that, that you actually take it apart and try and poke the holes back out this way with a nail or a smaller punch or an awl or something. Because trying to get a piece of Davy board to squeeze through the opening here is difficult, especially with the smaller punches. There really isn't much room there for the piece to go through. Anyway, that is the sort of hole punch we sell. This is it assembled. And this is what it looks like in the case.